it's Maria here. So the temperatures outside are rising and I wanted to come here today to show you just a few tips and a few products that I think are essential for a summertime makeup look. So pretty much the look that you see right now, something that can actually stay on. It's uh, made for a little bit of that hot weather, humidity, maybe a little bit of sweat. You don't have to give up makeup completely in the summer. So I'm gonna show you today how to achieve this effortless look with just a few products. So if you're here and you follow me, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here and you like what you see, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start after the skincare. So of course you can assume that I had my moisturizer on and I put on my SPF because I am gonna be outside later on and it's about 30 degrees outside. So let's start with the first makeup product. And I kind of put it in quotation marks because I really feel like this product is a skincare product as well. Okay, and I'm talking about Graydon's Face Glow. This is a primer and illuminator, and it's packed with amazing ingredients that will make your skin truly glow and also give you a little bit of the protective qualities of the ingredients for environmental pollution and the sun. So the reason I love Face Glow is because it can be worn alone or it can be worn underneath a tinted moisturizer or a foundation. It has a little bit of a tint. It's not... Um, you know, nothing that would be full coverage, all right? And what makes it uh, beautiful and illuminating is actually the mica that it has in it, as well as raspberry seed extract, spir spirulina extract, aloe vera juice, pumpkin seed oil. So it's packed with amazing ingredients. But the one thing that, of course, I love the most is the texture and how light it feels when you put it on. So today for this completed makeup look, I have this on as my illuminator and of course my base. If you prefer to have a little bit more coverage, you can put on face glow and then go in with your favorite tinted moisturizer or heavier foundation. Now, the second product that I cannot leave the house with, and of course it's essential for the summer, is a tinted sorry not a tinted of course it's tinted it's a concealer and for this purpose i prefer a liquid concealer because i actually went in and touched up some other areas that have redness with the concealer before proceeding with the rest of the makeup now the concealer of course i need for the under eye circles as i've mentioned in other videos but with the liquid product you can of course apply it around the nose um you know if you want a little bit more coverage on the forehead or if you have redness on the chin it is so versatile to have a liquid concealer because it can actually act a little bit as your foundation and because we are wearing less in the summer this little size here is all you need to get your under eye and of course to touch up any other redness um, discoloration um, you know any little zits that cup that pop up so all around a fantastic product and it should never be missing from your makeup bag so the product I use today is Pura Nara's Liquid Concealer. It's the Prime and Perfect, and I use the shade light. Now, in the summer, I try to avoid anything heavier, cakier, I stay away from powders. However, if you are gonna be using concealer around the eye area, I really recommend that you set your concealer in place. Now, you can do that with the pressed mineral foundation. This is the one by Pura Nara in the shade light. Um, this product is fantastic and very versatile. I always recommend this for oilier skin types. And if you have a little bit of drier skin, perhaps in the summer you do not, right? So perhaps in the summer you're a little bit more dewy, your skin produces maybe a little bit more oil. So in that case, it would be the perfect product to use overall as a uh, foundation. Um, just with the light brush, you can kind of just give yourself a little bit of coverage. I, I do a light application with a fluffy brush as opposed to a flat top kabuki it's going to give you a lighter application but it's also fantastic for adding a little bit more coverage around the eyes if you need it and also for setting the concealer in place if you don't want to use a pressed foundation for the summer of course you can just go in with a little bit of a matte 
um, setting powder. So this one here is the MAC Minerals by Piranata. It's a loose mineral powder, fantastic to have. You know, um, we all have a little bit of oiliness or shine that we wanna cover up now and again. So I find that having a loose mineral powder in your makeup kit um, is a year round product and you will definitely be using it up. So then after I created my canvas, my dewy canvas, um, what I wanna do is I just wanna start adding a little bit of color. So I went in with the Plume Eyebrow Pencil. These pencils here are refillable and I love the nice fine point okay over the pencil and the fact that on the other side it has the spoolie so i went in with the chestnut decadence today because i wanted to give a little bit of a of a bolder brow usually i am the ashy daybreak which is more um, of an ash color that would go um, with my hair but you can see that i can definitely do um, this one as well okay so just because i'm keeping everything else minimalist it's kind of nice to have a bolder brow, all right? It really puts the eyes on the map. Now, the only other thing I had on my eyes was the uh, pressed mineral foundation to set everything in place, to set the concealer in place. And then, of course, I would not go anywhere without my trusty Pure Nada um, mascara. Okay, now the Pure Nada mascara is a must for the summer. It's the only mascara that I have found that is, you know, natural but it also stays put. So if you are gonna be going out and you are uh, sweating and you are you know, finding that a lot of the makeup runs, I definitely recommend that you give this mascara a try. Now, uh, if you are a waterproof mascara type of person, you know, perhaps you're not gonna find that this one is the same, but it is pretty close, okay? You will never see it flaking or running underneath the eyes, which is so important in the summer when, you know, all of us get hot and sweaty when we are outside. Okay, and after that, I wanted to start adding some color to my face. So you can see that there's a little bit of a bronze effect um, happening. So I did that with Pure Nada's Bronze Clove. This is the powder bronzer. If you have an illuminating cream bronzer, that's also really, really great for the summer. I do prefer creams for the summer, but I do love how easy it is to apply this bronzed clove, especially around the forehead and higher up on the cheekbones. After that, I am gonna go in with a cream color. I love cream colors, especially in the summer, just because your skin is a little bit dewier and you're not heavily, you know, you're not powered, powdered. So you will find that the creams blend into the skin so effortlessly when your skin is kind of just dewy, you know, from um, applying your face glow or your tinted moisturizer. These cream blushes here are the Lip and Cheek Rouge. They are by Pure Nada, the Echo Cert certified. I used the, uh, the color Charlotte today, which you can see um, can be actually a very nice almost uh, contouring shade as well. It's warmer. I wanted to keep the look overall um, on the warmer side, but these little guys come in a variety of colors and they last forever. So they're about you know $20 a pop, but they have a fantastic range of cooler and warmer shades. And a little bit is all that's needed because they are really, really well pigmented. Now the lip and cheek rouge can also be applied on the lips or if you wanted to add a little bit of um, an eye color, you could go and kind of like rub it into your eyelid. However, I wanted to go in with a new product that I just brought into the shop because it gives you color and it also gives you SPF protection, which is so important and our lips are usually neglected and forgotten when it comes to SPF. So to keep this lip a little bit more in place and give it a little bit of grip because I am going to be applying a gloss, I went in with the um, lip pencil by Pure Nada. This is in the color Spice. I really love this uh, shade. It's a beautiful warmer nude. All right, and I found that it created the, per the perfect border and also the perfect grip on my lips for the product that's coming up next. So for a lip product today, I chose to go with Ava Isa. These are a new item in my shop. It's a tinted lip balm or lip gloss, you know, um, but what I love about them is that they're made with 20% zinc oxide, which is fantastic for a broad spectrum protection on your lips. The shade that I use today is Watermelon Lily.
and I find that a little bit is all that's needed and they are so nicely pigmented. Okay, so you can see, so that is Watermelon Lily. So apart from the SPF protection, they nourish the lips with shea butter and bayberry wax. They also contain candelilla wax, which makes this product vegan. There's no beeswax in here, um, but a fantastic, beautiful Canadian product, Ava Isa. Um, check them out. They make really, really beautiful uh, lip balms with SPF and also these really beautiful sun drops that I'm hoping to be bringing in that are light, but also give you uh, a beautiful SPF protection. They come in three shades. so we have the watermelon lily and then we have the strawberry zinnia and we also have a clear which just goes on as a lip cream you see here when you're done this summertime look you may go in with your favorite mist okay help cool your skin down gives you a nice dewy look keeps your makeup in place. And that is it for our summertime essentials. So this look was created with about seven to nine products. You know, the lip liner is optional. The extra lip gloss is optional. You can definitely use the lip and cheek rouge to give your lips a little bit of color. Uh, you know, I just wanted to share some products with you that are essential to give your skin a little bit of that glow, a little bit of that color, still feel, you know, pretty and put together without worrying of melting out there when the temperature gets hot. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna pop all the products for you below. And if you have any questions at all, please leave me a note in the comments. Tell me how you like this look. And if there's one or two products that really, you know, jumped out at you that you think you will definitely be using this summer, right? Thank you so much, everyone. I'll catch you next time.